I started writing songs when I was 10. And I know at some point I had a piece of paper that was the song called Etched in the Water, except Etched was spelled like this, because I was 10. Um, but for the most part, I didn't write my songs down. I wrote them in my head, I let them go. It wasn't until I was 15 or 16 that I started writing down my songs, and then, wow, surprisingly, I actually started getting better. But there are some songs from when I was young that I did write down, because I got some songbooks that I barely wrote in, because like I said, wrote in my head. So these are from my middle school era, but uh, this one I got when I was 12 for Christmas, which we'll come back to later. But uh, the first song I'm going to play for you and talk about is just a little ditty about a girl in a small town wanting to be a star, I think. I feel like it was inspired by Breakaway by Kelly Clarkson from the Princess Diaries movie. Like, I'm serious. So, here you go. Don't care if I'm not big. Don't care if I'm not famous yet. Don't care if I'm not out there. I don't care nothing yet. I'm waiting in this little town. Waiting for someone to come down and tell us we got something going on. Notebook, another Christmas birthday present type of deal. Also, barely written in, barely written in. I'm terrible. So this next song is my attempt at a love song. At this point, I'm maybe 13, so I have no idea what love is. Romantic love, I should clarify. And um, it shows. So here we go. The princess is always found by the prince. Don't be surprised if the shoe fits. I've been waiting for this a long, long time. So wake me up with your magic kiss. It is supposed to be like this. There's truth to the fairy tales. Truth to the fairy tales is time. Okay, the other song I'm gonna play a little clip from from this book. It's very emo, and I, I don't know why. I always seem to walk in a daze. I end up in rooms and I don't know how I got there. I'd say that I'm more than half crazy, but to say I'm insane is unfair. Cause I hold myself to take this moment to pause and explain that I was fine when I was 13. This song isn't really a cry for help. I was okay. As far as I know, when I wrote this song, I was just bored. That's all I can remember. But it is a little strange because, you know, years later I was struggling with mental illness and finding my identity and all those fun things. And this song does feel a little bit like it's just foreshadowing that. So. I don't know. I guess I was bored and could see into the future. And how do you save the person you think just can't be saved? Especially when that person is yourself. Where do you ask for help? I need help. So, like I said, I got this for Christmas. So I wrote a song on Christmas 
about Christmas, and since that's now seasonally appropriate, I guess I have to sing it. I got many Christmas presents to fill up my room. There's pretty paper everywhere, Mom will sweep up with the broom. Clear balls and silver bells decorate the tree. It's beautiful and green with flat and spiny leaves. There was no